Hey folks, welcome back to Deadly Premonition. Oh, hey, hi, how you doing, buddy? So, last time, we got to hang out with our little friend, Harry Stewart, and his little friend, Michael, and they gave me tea, they were very nice, gave me tea, showed me a sugar bowl full of a King Standard Sterling shit ton of suspicious red seeds, you know, the sort that we've been finding crammed into dead and not quite dead people's mouths um, all along through this game. And also, York and I had a really nice conversation about his taste in music. Uh, turns out he likes some really good music. He is a punk fan. And he was talking all about the time when he was underage and whoa, got into a CBGB to see the Ramones. And I'm just jelly as hell about that, honestly. So now I'm supposed to go to the graveyard. And uh, wow, the Fun V is handling a lot more touchier than I remember. It's also faster than I remember. Oh, uh, I just hit something and I have no idea what. So, Zach, about Emily. What about her? My first impression when we met her on that bridge is... Oh, God. ...slightly different from what I think about her now. Yeah? Don't you think she's pretty mesmerized? Um, well... And, Zach, she seemed interested in you. Well, of course she did. Did you make a move on her? I no, might no, have. Right. Just asking. Too late. But if you like her, I won't stand in your way. Oh, thanks. But you're, I'd like to hear the truth. Well... Because this oh, kind of shit. stuff could affect our friendship, you know. I'm your imaginary Me? friend, I'm just York. interested in her, that's all. She For God's sake, anything. dude. Uh, of course From not. I can tell, she doesn't even seem to like me. It's uh, pretty clear well, how she acts when she's she around me. She did? As you know, Zach, I'm cautious with you. Uh-huh. It's because I was badly burned. Oh, oh, shit's about to get juicy here. I really have no idea what women are thinking. You have no idea what anyone is thinking, York. You're pretty... Friendly with you the are ladies, socially you awkward like? as all Maybe hell. Maybe you should teach me about how to interact with I don't women. think anyone can teach you that. I think you are beyond help, York, honestly. Um, am I even going the right way? God, this thing is touchy. Uh, hey, come on. Okay, okay, here we, here we go. I think um, I'm going more or less the right way now. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, God. Oh, shit. Oh, God. I'm gonna hit somebody. Uh, excuse, excuse me. Pardon me. Thank you. Uh, good news is I've... No, I've, I've, I've not got as much gas as I thought I did. I was looking at the other meter. If that's a railroad track, I don't want to drive on that. I mean... Whoa. God. I've been by the graveyard, but I did not go in. Um... But I, luckily, I seem to be going the right way now. So, hey, that, uh, well, I did. Okay, yeah, here we go. It's all, all up in here, all up ends. There's the shiny green thing. And also, I need to see, uh, what's his face about some bones. I think. I think this is the side quest where the, uh, all those... Weird human bones and arms and legs and femurs and crap Just I keep Harry digging said, up. It's crowded Are... and quiet. Yep. Uh huh. Oh, and I see a shit ton of red seeds back there. Hey, buddy. Hey, Pugsley hey, Adams. Brian. Hey, Brian. Agent. Mr. Agent. How are you? Mr. Agent. Oh, uh, not bad. I'm, uh, look uh, at the sky. Just playing a little game with Harry. Game? A game? <laughs> is that fun? Well, we've only just started, Brian. The fun is about to begin. I'd like to ask you something, actually. Who is does there your a makeup? Tree in the graveyard that drops red seeds. Seeds. Red seeds. Do I fucking stutter? That. That tree does. The tree with all the red seeds under it, possibly? And that one, and that one too. All red <laughs> seeds. Oh, God. Okay, well. Thank you, Brian. That was, that was informative. And, oh, hello. And, um... 
Okay, I guess I need to um, get uh, something out here. Oh, good. Some money. Um, yep, that's what I was afraid of. Where's the uh, auto pew? Yes, yes. Oh, really? Brian, did you know about this? Did you know about these shit? Yes. Um, no, I don't need it. Ah, hell. That should be good. Hey, buddy, hey! What the hell? Hey! What the fuck? Oh, this guy! Oh shit! I am I am hurting. Let's um let's let's do something about that, shall we? Items. Um, first aid kit. Use. And another one, please. Okay. Wow. So I guess I will go back and get, um... I don't need those. Oh, shit! Okay, give me the first aid kit. I had a small one, but it's better than nothing. I, I'm, I'm all kinds of... Oh, hell. How about I just run? Oh, shit. Get it off, get it off, get it off, get it off. Okay, problem. Shit. Okay, forget the, forget the pipe. I'm just gonna... Yeah, how about I just auto pew him? Push. <coughs> That'll be enough. Wow. And sky clears up. And Zach, mission accomplished. Let's get back to Harry's. Yes, let's. The reward <coughs> better be good. Excuse me. I got red seeds. But you know, about these seeds, they were right here under my nose. Quite literally. It's as if I was carefully carrying a bottle of water while walking in a pool. We're learning the countryside version of common sense the hard way, Zach. Uh, our... what? Okay. Okay, um, is anything else gonna try to kill me? Or are we done? I think we're done with that. Okay, so I can, I can just walk now. And not have to worry about things trying to kill me. That's refreshing. What are you? Nope, don't need them. What are you? Don't need them. Oh, there's uh, there's some more, there's some bones over there. What are you? Don't need them. Hi, Brian. Hi, Bri Bri. Can I? Can I go in here? Can I? There's, there's a bone and some money. How, how, how get in? Is there a lock that I can shoot? No. Okay. Sorry, Brian. I, I couldn't stand it. I had to do it.
What is this? Hold, hold up, Brian. I'm, I'm going to steal something from behind you here. A green tomato. Yum, yum. I used to hate tomatoes. I did. I, I really did. I, I, my dad, the only time in my life he ever made the mistake of pulling the you're not getting up from that table before you eat whatever that is, was with a tomato. Um, I, they, were just, they were full of slime and they were full of seeds and they, were, they had a gross texture and I didn't want them. I, shit, that's where that is. I have to go back here. Uh, and um, so he said I was not going to get up from the table until I ate that tomato. At about 11 o'clock, he finally gave up and sent me to my room and sent me to bed. And I did not eat that tomato. But uh, now I am, I am 40. And uh, now I do like tomatoes. I actually have a, a little thing of grape tomatoes in there in the kitchen that I have been popping into my mouth now and then. Just by themselves, seeds and slime and all, and, you know, tastes change as you get older. Left foot bone is connected to the skull bone? No, wait. A human bone? Yeah. This doesn't look related to the case, but... Shouldn't I let someone You know, know? I'm, I'm fairly sure Brian is aware that there are bones out here. I mean, this is a cemetery, York. Oh, I'm not... No, I'm not going to blow the dog up. I'm not going to do it. That's a, di that's a dick move. We're not going to blow a dog up. Nothing... Nothing there. Okay. Not going to blow up a dog. Oh, hey, buddy. How you doing? Cats are arguing. All right. Hey, hey, let me out. Okay. Now out we go again. Last time. We will go and uh, speak to Brian. And then we will go see Harry one more time. Now, yep, a bunch of garbage that I do not need. Okay, Cat is now distracted by his toy. Ah, I hear the uh, the bell going. Hi, hi, Brian. So, bad, bad seeds. I saw that movie. I I won't touch them. Well, you kind of can't help it. They're fucking everywhere. So, bad seeds, huh? Let me just cut across the graveyard. Now, whose grave is this? Oh, can I... I can get down in there, can I? Observe. This grave has been dug up. Why would anyone do such a thing? Can I get in it? Because there's, there's something shiny in there. I guess not. I guess not. Alright, let me out of here. Let's go uh, talk to Harry and Michael again. It's like this compliment of Funvies following me around. No, not that side. That side. That's the side I want to be in. I'm going to get a sip here. Okay. Well, I need to think about getting some gas before too long. Kadunk. All right, coming through. Police business. FBI business. I'm I'm all over the place here. Anyway, Zach. Yeah. There aren't many young women left in this town. <laughs> Even Emily. Greenvale needs next. women. We can't rule that out. All the more reason to catch the raincoat killer. I, I'm pretty ASAP. sure Carol is next. And that means working closely together. We can work out the Emily situation yeah. later. Don't yeah. get me wrong, Zach. I mean, I'm not interested in Emily because she's female or anything. York. I'm just saying she's York doth protest too you know, much. As an interesting uh -huh. person. Yeah. Uh huh. But by looking at her. She reminds me of something I used to feel. Uh huh. That's all. I think I just took a like wrong back turn. when I first met you. <coughs> Excuse me. You know that feeling well, we yeah. all used to feel back when we were kids. 
feeling um, safe while also feeling a okay. need to protect. Yeah, okay, that I can I can dig that. But Zach. Yeah. Who made me feel that back then? Didn't I? Wasn't it me? Anyways, we're getting closer one step Shit. at a time to cracking this case. Excuse me. I have a feeling it's going to get tough. Like it hasn't already? So yeah, basically, uh, York met Zack, that is me, um, after he watched his dad shoot his mom in the head and then kill himself, I guess. And that is when he developed his uh, little split personality. His, uh, his imaginary friend, Zack. And um, yeah, York has seen some shit. Um, which explains a whole lot about him, and I kind of feel bad about making fun of him for being so socially awkward, because, uh, given the shit he has seen, he's actually, uh, that he is actually able to function at all is a minor friggin' miracle. A minor miracle. It is a pretty fucking huge miracle. But, uh, yeah, let me just, uh... Alright, we're gonna go see Harry again. Harry! What's up? Camera. Beep, beep, beep. Mr. Francis York Moore. God, here we Finally, go again. Finally, you have arrived. You are welcome to come inside. I just left. You're acting like you hadn't seen me in a year. It was like ten minutes. Tops. Mmm, ham. I want a ham. My uncle's been stockpiling holiday meats since before Thanksgiving. There's a ham in the freezer at work. Okay, um... Is this way? Can't leave now. Nope, other way. Okay, well, we'll turn around then, York cheese -o man In we go. It's locked. Hello, Michael. This house, man. Mr. Francis York Morgan, yeah. please proceed to Mr. Stewart's room. Thank you. There he awaits you, I shall assume. But you don't know? You're his little flunky. Oh, hello. Okay. Um. Is this the same? 14, 23, 26. Nope, this is not the same area. 14, 23, 26. Okay, let's remember that. <clears throat> What, what's on the toilet? Yeah, pineapples on the toilet. Okay. Pineapple slices. Yum, yum. That, that's a good place to keep that. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and save while we're here. Yeah, sure, why not? Oh, I wasn't charged for uh, using that phone. That's nice. Is there anything red in here is what I want to know. Does not appear to be. So once again, uh, let me check my suit here. How's, uh, it's starting to look like it's getting dirty. Yeah, let's go ahead and change clothes. Let's see, I'll, I'll take the red jacket. Yeah. And I'll have this one cleaned. Sure. Okay. Alright. Ah. Looking snazzy, York, as always. I swear, if he doesn't get a punk rock outfit, though, I'm going to be real disappointed in this game. Excuse me. Alright. Uh-huh. Naturally. Let's go around the house. Uh-huh. Okay. Harry? 
Do you honestly have nothing better to do? shit? Ah, God, I forgot. One of these had to open. Oh, great. What the hell? Okay. 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 Fourteen, twenty-three, and twenty. Now that I'm in here, let me go look at it again. I think it's fourteen, twenty-three, and twenty-six. I think. Fourteen, twenty-three, twenty-six. Okay. Fourteen, twenty-three, twenty-six. Let me just write that down real quick. Uh, with, the, uh, with a pen, the old-fashioned way. Fourteen, twenty-three, twenty-six. Gotcha. Okay. Well, that's simple enough, I think. Because here's the tens. Or here's the tens going this way. So, twenty-six... Push. Okay. And then this is the six row, right? Yeah. Okay. So then just push it up to the twenties row. Okay, and push it one more. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. That one is in the right place. Good. Now, uh, I need to put one on 23. Which is this row right here. So let's go ahead and move this one. Oops, push. Push it, York. Push it. <coughs> And it wiggles. And push it some more. There we go. And that one's in the right place. And finally, 14. Now, of course, I took the one that's farthest away. Naturally. Is that where that one needs to be? No, that's not. <laughs> Two more. Keep pushing, York. I'll just sit here drinking. Mm -hmm. Yep, keep going. You're doing great, York. Come on, put your back into it. There you go. Bend your knees. Lift with your knees, not with your back. You can do it. One more. <coughs> Work them shoulders. There we go. And got it. Yay. You douchebag. <sighs> now that we have gotten all swole... Where the hell is Harry's room? There it is, right there. Now watch, Michael's gonna be in here. Michael's got some secret passages and shit that he goes through. See, look at this! This is bullshit. I'm out there pushing statues. He just teleports in here. This is whack, is what this is. Not rude. 
Michael's gonna have to sweep those up. Harry, turns out what you said was true. And I'd like to hear more. I mean, you could have just showed them to him. York, as you know, there's a powerful mystery surrounding these seeds. You've seen them at damn those good text other space software that there. took place <laughs> elsewhere. <laughs> and you've seen them deeply involved with the murders in this town as well. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. But how do you know all this? York, you must be younger than you look. Um. Youngsters tend to hurry so much that they let things slip right past them. Well? What you need to do is slow this down a bit. Um? That way you'll see what's really important. Let me tell you a story. Ah, uh, shit. Fifty years ago. Oh, boy. Okay, over, well. Just about when the communist red started to become a rising threat, our town constructed a huge oh, I'm gonna, clock tower. I'm gonna have a drink here. Then, oh. soon afterwards, a serial killer wearing what? a red raincoat went on that, a killing spree. That was a hell of a long time of the ago. Raincoat killer? Stop playing games with me, Harry. That's nothing more um, than Um, dude, folklore. you know perfectly damn the well. The FBI has no such record of a multiple homicide case in this town. Well, you do now. York, Anna, Becky, and now Diane. And the soon to be Carol, I'm betting not on. folklore, not legend. The raincoat killer is also real. Mm. But under a strict gag order. Mass murder case was never made public. I believe that's technically a serial fact, killing, not a mass murder. I'm um, just uh, being a little pedantic here. But... From history. With the history Tell eraser me, button. Who do you think would be able um, to do I'm something pretty sure Stimpy like did that. that in that one episode of uh, Rin Stimpy. The military. Wait, what? Very good. Wait, wait, what? This is, okay, this but is getting into no some Metal Gear Solid it, shit here. What is going on? Know it really happened? He was there. Good question. He York. was there, son of a bitch. Why would I know this? The answer is very simple. I was there. <laughs> what did I just say? I saw it with my own eyes. The brutal killer himself. Wow. But we can oh, come on. No, Harry, you can't leave it there. Encounter another time. What we need to talk about is your raincoat killer. The, the new, new raincoat, raincoat killer. killer if you will. Raincoat killer, the next generation. The new raincoat oh. killer. No, I wanted yes, to call him the next generation. Call come that. on. After all, he's not the real one. You're the real one, aren't you, Harry? What you want to know more about is the new one. Harry's the real one. Between 10 I'm, I'm going to guess. Years ago, Harry is the uh, the original. I noticed that these red seeds were Excuse special. Me. And someone else did too. Kason. The human imagination can lead to Dude. tragedy sometimes. No. Someone linked the red seeds to the serial killer legend. Sid. If you eat the red seeds and then kill um, someone, you will become immortal. Um. This new fabricated legend was passed on from one to the next. Okay. Evolving and changing every time, like a rumor. Uh huh. Some may have actually taken the seeds to try them out, to prove the legend. York, the red seeds you have found from those other murders, they all came from this town well. together with that one evil rumor. People on the other side of the planet... Well, on, uh, on the plus side, that's going to generate some no tourism revenue. I mean... In different parts of the world. 
So the people are coming to get the seeds. The cases I've been following are all linked to this town. That's interesting, Harry. Yes, it is. But there's no evidence to support that story. None of the criminals we caught for the other murders ever mentioned anything like uh -huh. that. Uh-huh. It's your job. <laughs> your role and duty to look into that, York. Now, the game must go Oh, on. goody. You know I said that the incident 50 years ago was totally Right. Erased. Oh, really? Exist in the sheriff's office. The old sheriff back then ah. hated the military and did his own investigation. Well, good for him. I need you to bring those documents here to me. Okay. Once you've done that, I'll tell you everything I know. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> fair enough. Okay, Just settle down there, Harry. Okay, it's worth a look. And we may as well let the old man have his fun. <laughs> York, he's right there. He can hear you. Hey. Yay. Give my money. All right. Yes, I would like to save. Coffee. And now we're leaving. Documents from a case that happened 50 years ago. Wow. Let's play along with the old man for a little longer, shall we? Sure, why not? I mean, we have Zach, nothing else to do. that means we need to head for the sheriff's department. Right. And we will do that next week, folks. Thank you for watching. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye.